Many people like to budget their trip before they already start traveling. Even before your trip starts, the expenses already start and those costs can get very high. Your passport is the most important item, of course, when you go on a trip. Make sure that your passport is still valid. It's even better if you already know that you start traveling for a whole year, that your passport is still valid a half year after you go back home. Because there are countries that make as a rule that your passport has to be valid three months or six months after you leave that country. When you travel longer, you will need visa. Make sure that your passport has enough empty pages for all the visas. There are some countries who put in one stamp of one page and another country takes a whole page too. Some visas you already have to arrange before you start traveling, like for instance Myanmar, Russia or China, and that is already a part of the cost of course. Make a set of extra passport pictures, because sometimes uh, on a visa you will need a passport picture and if you already have one on you, it's quicker and it's cheaper. When you go on a long trip by car or you want to rent a car in another country, make sure that you know if you are good to drive with your current driver's license. There is something called an international driver's license. It's not actually very expensive. But if you already know, you can already apply for that before you start traveling. If you're going to travel by car, make sure that uh, you have all the right papers that you can actually go over the border with your own car. Sometimes they require that you have uh, omens papers or you have a special sort of insurance a paper in the Netherlands we call it the green card which is like uh, translated in different countries so if we show that that every country knows that your car has good car insurance. Health is of course very important so is vaccinations. There are many vaccinations a lot of them are actually not even obligated to take but it is for your own health risk uh, maybe better to do. Those costs of vaccination can up pretty uh, hard and you will get a vaccination passport which you sometimes have to show to get into a country or are allowed on a plane. I only had to show it two times and both times I had to show the vaccination stamp for Yellow Viva. Insurance. You want to have a very good health insurance of course and next to that I also had a travel insurance. Because I have a very good health insurance, I actually uh, took a very cheap travel insurance because otherwise the health insurance would be double. And because I don't have very uh, expensive stuff on me, I don't need a very high travel insurance. You need to have your payments, so you need to have debit cards, credit cards, all those costs you have to apply for before you start traveling and they're probably also going to cost money too. Many people start the trip, of course, by uh, starting with an airplane ticket. So you already have to pay for your airplane ticket before you start traveling. I only booked a two-way ticket in and out of Guatemala because I knew that I wanted to go one way down and the other way up. So I uh, only bought a two-way ticket to Guatemala. A lot of people buy a around-the-world ticket it can be okay, but I think that the rules for a around the world ticket are very strict and they are actually rules how long you have to stay and which you have to visit. But the advantage is, of course, if you already booked a around the world uh, plane ticket, that you already uh, paid for a lot of costs up front. Before you start traveling, you already have your luggage, of course. So you probably have to buy a suitcase, a backpack, hiking shoes, a good uh, jacket, microfiber towels. And to save money, you probably have a lot of insurance now too, and a lot of subscriptions, which you can all uh, go and cancel, or maybe adjust to the new situation. And then, if everything is arranged, everything is paid for, and your luggage is packed, you can close the door and start enjoying your trip. 
Thanks for watching. I want to share my travel experience, tips, tricks and lifestyle with you. So I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Put on a smile. It's universal language.